Welcome well, guys to episode 4 of season 3 of The Walking Dead. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Now before we get into this, I just wanted to point out that I didn't actually realise until I turned the game on for this recording session that if you take a look at the screen and we look at episode 5, it's not actually out yet. Um, I've been looking online and there isn't actually a release date, but people are speculating that it's the end of May. So after this part, it'll probably be a while until episode 5 comes out. But it will happen as soon as it comes out and I'll get it straight, recorded and edited and uploaded for you guys. So without further ado, let's get on back track to episode 4. Let's begin. Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! You're a piece of work, you know that? Fucking Garcias! Oh. You, you... You shook my goddamn guts out! Conrad? What? They got the guts to kill another man? No. You're not a man. You're nothing. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. We don't need your help. I'm begging you! <laughs> I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. They were our family, David. How could you? Piece of shit! I'll give you family! Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. <laughs> Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. No, thanks. Whatever. You sucked anyway. You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Here we get to hit it ourselves. Oh, it's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, 
could avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow. Mm. Fuck. You gotta shut up. Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Garcia takes one for the team. That's gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Garcia's hot streak is cooling. On purpose. I think I got a few more swings in me. You in? No, he's gone. Ah, oh, David. David, what's wrong? Come back. I'm sorry, man. I was trying to keep it together. I'm not good at talking like this. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. Oh, take a breath. I'll hear you out, but this doesn't have to be an argument. I'm worried about you, man. I can't be the star's older brother anymore. I gotta go where I can be my own man. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. <sighs> My mom and dad will worry themselves sick. You didn't see how stressed they got last time you deployed. Life's hard for everybody, Javi. Except you. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind, I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah, we good. Come on, let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there, you two. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. I know you Richmond folks are a little flexible when it comes to doing what's right. I don't buckle just because it's the easy thing to do. You talk a big game, but talk isn't going to get you out of this mess. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal, lies. It was too risky to stay. I was trying to keep Kate safe. I had a plan for that. You fucked it up. You have any understanding of what they're doing to me? I'm being set up, and I don't even want to think about what they'll do when they find Kate. I could have found a way to protect all of you, but now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? I thought Lonnie was a friend. He turned on me. And you shot him. 
Any friends you haven't killed, haven't killed you yet. It's everyone out for themselves these days. Hey, we can still win this. You and me together should be able to take down some punk-ass soldiers. <laughs> you are so goddamn naive, Javi. We're outnumbered here. I could be far away from here. There are other communities out there. You can't give up. Gabe didn't give up on you. And Kate? I said, what about Kate? You gave up on Kate years ago. You left us waiting while the world fell apart. She didn't forget it. Shut up! You're dead to me. If we get out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. Oh yeah, it's a pissed off. Typical brothers, fighting like boys. You bitch. I fucking trusted you! Careful! Don't give him a concussion. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. Eh, people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. We both know the real danger here is you. I'm not sure what kind of person you imagine me to be, but it's not true. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is gonna blow up in your face. You just wait. I really hope not. I'm responsible for the lives of everyone in this community. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Bullshit! I understand you're angry with me, but let's talk about it in private. Bring him with us. No oh, bullshit. Leave him there on his own. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. That's just what I was thinking. Right, let's have a look. Bring in the lockers. Uh, nothing useful here. I should learn by now. Hmm. I'm not going to get up there from this bench. Kate! I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. For now, you escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. Uh, shit. 
Give it a push from your side. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. We're gonna blow this joint. 